Hello everyone, my name is Evan Jacobs. Welcome to another edition of Boxing Time TV. A little hum you hear behind me is a fan. It's a hot California Sunday. We're in that time of year here. Let's just get right to the fight so we can kind of cool things down. Um, to today, we are doing um, Emmanuel Navarrete versus, um, versus uh, Jesse Magdaleno. This fight is happening as I'm seeing it here, this fight's happening on on um, October 17th, 2020, and um, uh, Navarrete is um, or uh, uh, yeah, he is uh, 20, 25. Magdaleno is 28. Um, he's in and he's fighting Jesse Magdaleno. I, I'm trying to I'm tempted to say Ernesto Magdaleno because that was a light heavyweight who passed away some years ago. I think like 20 or so years ago from Orange County. Um, Amanda Navarrete is 6'7", Magdaleno is, is, no I'm sorry, he's 5'7", Magdaleno is 5'4", they're both featherweights, 126, 72 reach for Navarrete, 66 reach for Magdaleno, uh, Amanda Navarrete, 31 and um, 1 with, um, here I'm going to see how many knockouts he has, with 27 knockouts, Jesse Magdaleno is 28 and 1, um, and uh, he has 18 knockouts. So here, let's just go right to it. This is a 12 round fight, three minute rounds, 10 point must scoring system, no mandatory eight count, three knockdown rule waived. And um, I'm not gonna lie, uh, I don't know a ton about these fighters, but I think this should be a pretty engaging fight. I think both these guys hit hard. It should be enjoyable. And, and I, I, th I think we're gonna see a lot of fireworks. Um, part of me thinks it's gonna end early. Another part of me thinks it's gonna go the distance. So. We will have to see. And right now, Navarrete kind of just fighting, um, sort of, sort of taking his time, not uh, rushing in, looking to counter punch Jesse Magdalena. And as I said, this bout is going to be happening on October seventeenth, twenty twenty. So I hope. Oh wow! Right there, uh, Navarrete. Landing, landing hard on Jesse Magdaleno um, as we're almost done with the first minute here. And as you can see, um, wow, Navarrete just finding a home for that left hand. You know he would just like to land that all night as Jesse Magdaleno kind of being more the aggressive fighter here. But, you know, neither fighter really has taken it to the other fighter. This is more like a feeling out process. Um, Magdaleno moving out of the way as some of Navarrete's shots. So, oh, at least, oh, I, I always, that always happens to me. I say what's happening and then the opposite happens. But, you know, I think we're going to see a good fight. These are two hard, hard-hitting featherweights. And, uh, yeah, I, 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 I just, I think we're going to hit up. I think we're going to see a very, very good fight from the, uh, both of them. Oh, and Navarrete continuing to land with that left hand, drawing Magdaleno out a bit. You know, we'll look at uh, Magdaleno's record a little bit. I'm not going to lie, I'm not that familiar with these guys, although I do recognize um, Isaac Dogbo, who is the one who stopped Jesse Magdaleno. I believe he stopped him in the 11th round. Um, Nonito Donaire, um, also... Um, having a, uh, having a, you know, you know uh, he has a victory over him. Uh, Donaire, you know, solid guy, still fighting. Many thought that his career was done. Um, but that has proven not to be the uh, case. Oh, wow. And Navarrete landing right there. Finding a uh, range. At the uh, and you know finding his distance and doing pretty well I think landing and you know fighting a very very measured fight at, at a very very measured pace so we're done with the first round here on boxing time TV thank you so much for tuning in both fighters are breathing heavy I think you got to give that to Navarrete um, and and you know you know one judge giving it 10 8 Another judge 10-9, another judge 10-10. So pretty disparate scoring across the uh, 
across the uh, books there as, uh, you know, Navarrete up on point, you know, winning that first round on the judges' scorecards. We'll see if Jesse Magdalena can come out and kind of change, change that up a bit. I'm telling you, Navarrete just finding a way, just landing really. Oh, wow. And takes a hard right hand from Magdaleno. Wow. Wow, folks. We have these two guys. They're landing hard now. And you have Magdaleno now getting Navarrete against the ropes. He must have thought maybe he lost that round. Magdaleno now going to the body. Tough fighter in his, in his, in his own right. And once again, you are watching Boxing Time TV. If you like what you're seeing, please uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Please share these links with your family and friends. Please, um, please, you know, just just hit me up if there's fights that you want to see made. You can find me on Instagram, Boxing Time with Evan, which is that's more, you know, I, I I post there a few times a week, but that's more of a shadow page for what I am doing, what I'm doing here. And um, look, you know, we looked at the record of um, Emmanuel Navarrete. In a little bit, we'll take a look at the record of Jesse Magdaleno, um, and and no, I'm, I'm sorry. We'll we'll take a look at the we, we looked at the record of Jesse Magdaleno in a little bit. We'll take a record of Jesse Magdaleno. Magdaleno coming back hard in this round, taking some shots, and these guys are both cracking each other, folks. We're halfway through the second round, and we've got a very very entertaining featherweight matchup. Um, like I said, going to be happening October 7, 17th. And what's interesting is that Magdaleno's having success and Navarrete's having success, but I still feel that Navarrete is in command. And I think maybe he's drawing um, not Magdaleno out a little bit to kind of, you know, just, you know, bust him up, you know, seek opportunities. And, you know, that's, that's you know, his ultimate goal, you know, to break him down, to wear him down. But he, he's, Magdaleno's getting his pound of flesh in the process. Wow, hard right hand from Navarrete. But you know, you can't forget the right hand that Magdaleno landed on Navarrete, dropping it, dropping him. All right, so we're in the final 20 seconds of this, the second round, and Navarrete countering well off the ropes. Uh, Magdaleno having a, having a better round, although Navarrete busting him up right here as, as we're just moving through this, folks. We're, we're, gonna, we're, we're gonna take it to the judges' scorecards now. All right. So, you have... Um, Wow, one judge giving it to Magdaleno, one judge giving it to Navarrete, and another judge having it even. So right now, same as you know, we saw in, in that last round, Magdaleno went out and did some stuff in that in that last round. Um, and, and Navarrete still up by one by by one round. Still early here in the fight, folks. Um, as we're now in the third round of this featherweight matchup between Emmanuel Navarrete and Jesse Magdaleno. Man, Magdaleno has a good chin. He is just taking solid shots, and he keeps plowing, plowing forward. Navarrete beating him, beating him up. Now Navarrete measuring him, measuring him against the ropes, fighting, fighting off the ropes. Oh, now going to the body is Jesse Magdalena. Wow, some nice counter punching from Emmanuel Navar Navarrete. Wow, he is he is really you know, he's doing well with the counter punching, but you know, Jesse Magdaleno is doing well as he pushes forward, folks. 
We're seeing some interesting stuff here, folks. Oh, wow, and he wobbles Navarrete again. Wow. Jesse Magdaleno, folks, just really bringing it here in this third round. Really just kind of pushing the fight and taking shots like that as he kind of, oh, man, Emmanuel Navarrete landing off the ropes. And, and Jesse Magdaleno needs, needs to be careful. Both these fighters have a lot of power in their, in their fists. They are just banging each other. This is like a featherweight version of Hagler Hearns. All right. So now you have Navarrete doing good work. What the, the thing is, Navarrete is just being busier in between the exchanges, and Magdaleno's taking, taking, you know, he's walked into a lot of shots. He, he came out. He's not going to want to have another round like this. He's, he, he's, he's got to think of a way to draw Navarrete out, because Navarrete right now, just running the numbers on him. And one judge giving it to Navarrete, one judge giving another judge giving it to Navarrete, and another judge giving it to Navarrete. So is Navarrete starting to take over, or can Jesse Magdaleno stop what's going on a little bit? Is now, um, you know, Emmanuel Navarrete having a good third, third round against the tough Jesse Magdaleno. And, 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 you know, Navarrete, you know, hitting him to the head and the body. Jesse Magdaleno, you know, just continuing to pour forward. But he go, what I give Jesse Magdaleno credit for is he's going to the body. He could be setting himself up to have a very good, you know, later part of the fight if Navarrete is, uh, you know, is, is, is tired or slows down. These two guys are landing on each other. Wow, folks, what I'm, I'm telling you, what great back and forth action. Once again, you are watching Boxing Time TV as we have Jesse Magdaleno trying, trying to impose his will on Emmanuel Navarrete. Navarrete fighting a very solid game plan, just counter punching, but taking shots in the process. And, um, it's almost like each fighter has answers for what the other fighter is trying to uh, do. Um, if you like what you're watching, please like, comment, and subscribe. Please share these links with your family and friends. Please tell people about this. Just trying to build up and kind of, you know, get, you know, get more simulated content on here. I do about one a week. I hope everyone, you know, we're, we're guys, folks, we're doing our best to adapt and live with this global pandemic. Nobody has any answers. We're all we're all doing our our best, and um, yeah. So uh, I'm I am just uh, I'm just thankful uh, for everyone who tunes in, for everyone who cares. Um, and you know, please, say, you know, you know, if, if there's a fight you want to see, if there's things that you want to see, send me a link. Let me know, and um, I will. Well, I, I mean, hit, hit me up in the messages. I'll do my best to make those fights. You know, coming up, we have uh, the Charlo Brothers fight. Um, uh, Jamal versus Sergei Dereva, Derevichenko. And then, um, and then uh, whatchamacallit, uh, Jermel. All right, so right now, uh, Emmanuel Navarrete taking that round on one judge's scorecard. Another judge giving it to Jesse Magdaleno. Folks, uh, Navarrete up by seven points as we go into the fifth. And Navarrete begins the round by just slamming Magdaleno 
with uh, with a left to the head and a left to the body. And folks, I'm I'm telling you, I give Magdaleno a lot of credit in the world, but he's gonna have to start doing something else because he is uh, he's fighting well, but he's taking a lot of punches and he's not getting the return on the investment. The investment being the punches that he's landing that Navarrete seems to be. And then Jermel Charlo, I was gonna talk about. He is fighting next. He's fighting Jason Rosario. So, and, 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 and that happens next month. So I'm gonna be doing those fights next. Um, and um, I was gonna be doing um, uh, Alita Alvarez versus Joe Smith, but that uh, is happening in like six, six days. And so if I was gonna do it, I probably should have done it sooner. So, you know, uh, I, I, I dropped the ball on that. Anyway, we're, we're, we're getting the uh, Navarrete Magdaleno bout out of the way very, very early. I got the Charlo fights. Who knows? We maybe have the Canelo fight. We have, I mean, the, every week fights are being announced. And now I was just listening on um, the uh, Sports Illustrated podcast that I've talked about a bunch on the show. I love it. Really just keeps me up to date and up on what's happened with boxing. I feel as up on boxing as I've ever been now. Um, I mean, maybe not as much as when I was a younger kid. Back then, I could tell you all the champions and everything like that. But even with just the IBF, WBC, and WBA, and WBO, it was easier. Now, you know, and I mean, you hear this all the time, but what do titles mean? You know, you win the WBC Silver Championship, w, you know, WBC Interim Championship. Like it's, it's everyone's a champion, you know. And, and, and while I certainly don't think there's anything wrong with participation points and participation prizes. I mean, you know, a champion is, is, it's, yeah, you know, it's, I just think it's, 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 they should, I've even thought about starting a sanctioning body where literally it would just be all the current weight divisions, one champion, that's it. But I'm sure that someone is trying to do that or having that idea. And yeah, I, I, I'd rather just do this podcast and talk about it. And uh, boxing time um, with Evan, my uh, Instagram page. But who knows? Maybe I, maybe I, maybe I will. Oh, a nice right hand from Evangel Navarrete. So, looking this up. All right, good fifth round. Another round, I think, that you got to give to Navarrete. It seems like Magdaleno is slowing down. This sort of happens in this game, although one judge has it even. Another judge gives it to uh, Navarrete, 10-8. Another judge, 10-8. So we're seeing a lot of wild stuff on the scorecards, folks. But Amanda Navarrete going into the second half of the fight seems to be pulling ahead. You know, we're not seeing Jesse Magdaleno come out the way that he was. And you're seeing Amanda Navarrete landing that left hand a lot easier. And he's... Very much has the distance, and he's able to just get out of the way of Magdalena's punches. Oh! Amanda Navarrete dropping Jesse Magdaleno. Wow, folks. Wow, what a knockdown this is. Whoa! Is he going to stay down? We'll have to see. He gets back up. That was a hard knockdown. Amanda Navarrete. Wow, folks. Wow, Emmanuel Navarrete, is he gonna is he gonna close the show here? Is he and, and we're having Magdaleno continue to come forward? That's not that's not very, very smart. But man, Navarrete is just counterpunched him into into oblivion. Wow. What a what a knockdown. What a turn of events here is uh, as Emmanuel Navarrete just pulling ahead, drawing Jesse Magdaleno out, and just beating him and beating him with shots. Oh man. Oh, oh! Oh, 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 and he wobbles him again. Man, I'm telling you, Jesse Magdaleno should regroup or something. He doesn't want to take too many more of those punches. Man, both these guys hit hit really, really hard. That was that was a tremendous uppercut just landed by Jesse by Emmanuel Navarrete, who's going to the body now, landing hard, pretty much landing everything that he's throwing. What a big wave for Emmanuel Navarrete to open up this uh, round, or you know, to to you know win this. He's obviously going to win this round very very big, provided something else strange doesn't happen. Wow.
Emmanuel Navarrete, and he's 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 sort of not punching as much. I think maybe giving Jesse Magdaleno a false sense that he has a place here. And wow, Emmanuel Navarrete just continuing to land and pound on Jesse Magdaleno. What what a solid performance. I mean, both guys really gave you know Jesse Magdaleno. Give him all the credit in the world. Came out fighting hard, coming forward, doing 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 his doing his best. Just to just to keep this moving moving along, and 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 and, and to force Emmanuel Navarrete to engage with him, and Jesse Magdaleno just wow get shell act in that round, folks. We're halfway through this. Uh, I think we're gonna see ten sevens or well, when I were ten eight, ten eight, and now another ten eight. So Amanda Navarrete clearly taking over. We're moving into the seventh round of this bout. Amanda Navarrete versus Jesse Magdaleno set to happen here now. On um, on uh, October seventeenth, twenty 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 twenty. Sorry, I uh, said that twice. Um, and then Emmanuel Navarrete. All right. So we're gonna we're gonna look we're gonna look at his record. And um, Navarrete's beating Uriel Lopez, um, Isaac Dog Dogbo twice. Um, which was, as we're seeing here, Dogbo was the, was the fighter who, um, beat, uh, Jesse Magdaleno. You know, I'm remembering, oh, wow, oh, wow, oh, wow, Navarrete hurting, really, really hurting, oh, oh, man, oh, Jesse Magdaleno taking some shots there, wow. Oh, and, and so now, moving moving back now, we see, um, all right, so now Jesse Magdaleno moving back from Emmanuel Navar Navar Navarrete, um, Going back to Magdaleno's record, sorry, I got, I got, I got, um, uh, whatchamacallit, you know, so I, I am kind of familiar with these guys in the sense of I saw Dogbo beat Magdaleno, and um, I, I, I've i seen, I, I want to say I saw Emmanuel Navarrete beat Isaac Dogbo. Dogbo really, you know, incredible fighter too, um, especially because no one really, I don't think, gave him much of a chance against Magdaleno. But yeah, those are the only names I really recognize on the, on the ledger of of Amanda Navarrete. Now Navarrete is, is putting the four you know, this is actually better for Jesse Magdaleno. He has Navarrete being the aggressor. Maybe he can counter punch, maybe he can land something. But man, Amanda Navarrete landing hard against Jesse Magdaleno. And folks, what I don't want to see this fight devolve into is the kind of thing where it's it's literally just yeah, it's it's just a uh it is um how do I put this? It is. What I don't want to see it devolve into is just one of those things where it is, it is a, uh, oh gosh, what's the word? What's the word I'm looking for? It's just such a route. So uh, after seven rounds, Manuel Navarrete Taking that round again, 10-8. Didn't even need a knockdown to do it against Magdaleno. Magdaleno did so little in that round, but man, he got bopped around. 10-8, 10-8 across the board as we move into the eighth round with Emmanuel Navarrete versus Jesse Magdaleno. You know that Magdaleno is going to want to, he's going to want to step it up a bit. So we'll see. But now Emmanuel Navarrete standing in center ring. I mean, these two guys, these two guys are, you know, go, going for it. And Magdaleno still trying to land that right hand. Easily blocked, easily evaded by um, by um, Emmanuel Navarrete. Oh man, J Jesse Magdaleno having a moment. Oh wow! Sometimes I wonder though if fighters do that if they start taking some punches, if they sort of open themselves up simply to have the other fighter continue to come forward, continue to. You know, you know, to, to continue to be able to draw them into traps. 
you started off and then, you know, for the first four rounds, this was a fairly competitive match. Now it's just become, I mean, Emmanuel Navarrete. And then when that knockdown, I mean, it looked like, it looked for everything like, I was like, man, is Jesse Magdaleno going to be knocked out? Oh, 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 oh. And he, and he gets wobbled there. He gets wobbled there. And, and Mag, uh, Emmanuel Navarrete just out of, just out of range. Wow. I'm telling you, I give Navarrete credit. He's done so much right. Where he doesn't seem to feel the most comfortable, it seems, in this simulation is when he has Magdaleno on the ropes. It seems like he loves when Magdaleno's leaning against him, pressing forward. And and it, it, it seems like what's happening in every one of these rounds is that Magdaleno's getting badly hurt and then he's just kind of uh, retreating. And he knows that Emmanuel Navarrete's not that comfortable pressing the action. You know, because Magdalene, you know, Navarrete met him at the gate when he was coming forward. Magdalene, you know, Navarrete was there. Once again, thank you so much for tuning in to Boxing Time TV. If you like what you're watching, please like, comment, and subscribe. Please share these links with your family and friends. Please, uh, you know, just tell people about this. Direct message me. Let me know about you want to see. Give me a follow on my Instagram page, Boxing Time TV. Oh, man, I'm telling you, Navarrete, uh, just landing those hard, hard shots. I have an odd feeling, but I think Navarrete may stop him in the next round. I just have an odd feeling just based on how I'm seeing this going as we come down to the final seconds of this, the eighth round of Amanda Navarrete versus Jesse Magdalene. Ten eight. Ten eight, ten eight, ten nine, all for Emmanuel Navarrete as we go into the ninth round of this of this twelve round fight. Oh, and that left hand all night for Emmanuel Navarrete. Wow. His ability to land it, his ability to just to put his punches, I, it's just incredible. Oh, landing his right, landing his left hand. You know, that's the thing, you know, you watch a fight like this, you know, it's harder and harder to commentate. There's not, there's not a ton to say. You know, we're just seeing pretty much the same thing. Like right now, Magdaleno's coming forward. He's probably going to get hurt. Then he's going to retreat. Folks, I'm going to go get some water. I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Got my water. I'm ready right now. Um, I, I heard the punches being landed. We're in the final minute of this, the ninth round of Emmanuel Navarrete versus Jesse Magdaleno. Upcoming bouts we have are Jermel Charlo. I'm sorry, Jermel Charlo versus, versus Sergei Derevchenko, and Jermel Charlo against. Hold on, I I had it and then I lost it. One second. Jamel Charlo. Um, not seeing. It. 
from El Charlo. He's fighting, yes, like I said, Jason Rosario. I want to say Julian Williams fought Jason Rosario. Right now, um, they're saying Navarrete's very tired. Magdaleno, 10-9 on one judge's scorecards. I'm sorry, Navarrete's breathing heavy. Magdaleno's very tired. 10-9 on one judge's scorecard. 10-8, 10-8. All the scorecards for Jesse Magdaleno coming out for the 10th round. Give both of these guys credit. Um, a tough fight. And right now, Emmanuel Navarrete uh, just going to seem like he's going to take it home. This bout has kind of gone into a lull. We're pretty much seeing the same thing. And I think that, you know, short of a knockout by Jesse Magdaleno, Emmanuel Navarrete is either going to stop him or he's going to win a decision. Oh, he has him wobbled and hurt. And Amanda Navarrete is probably going to let him off the hook here. But, man, a man, Jesse Magdaleno, was really, really hurt right there, folks. It, he could have knocked him out. It, it's a lot going on in this, in this contest. Oh, he wobbles him there. He makes him walk into something. And Navarrete, oh, he has him hurt. Navarrete, is he going to... Oh, and he drops him again with a beautiful left hand. The left hand he's been landing all night. Jesse Magdaleno, a tough warrior, taking all these shots. Is he going to get up, folks? Has Emmanuel Navarrete stopped him? It looks like he's going to stop him. Ladies and gentlemen, a bravara performance from Emmanuel Navarrete. As he drops and stops Jesse Magdaleno, the winner's not Emmanuel Navarrete by a knockout. The fight lasted 10 rounds. Navarrete was not knocked down. Magdaleno was knocked down two times. Final scorecards, 89-79, 90-76, 89-80. All for Emmanuel Navarrete. Thank you so much, folks, for tuning in to Boxing Time TV. If you like what you saw here, please like, comment, and subscribe. Please share these links. Please tell your family and friends. Give me a follow on Instagram, Boxing Time with Evan. And our motto here at Boxing Time TV is why wait? Watch it now, then watch the real thing when it airs. Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll see you next time.